Welcome to The Doctor's Advice, the podcast that breaks down complex security topics into actionable insights. I'm Dr. B, your host. Today, we're focusing on risk management, but especially for those small and mid-sized businesses out there. No huge budget, no armies of security experts, just smart, practical steps to protect your business. Well, we all know cyber threats are no joke and SMBs are often seen as easy targets. But guess what? You don't have to be a sitting duck. By implementing the right risk management strategy, you can level the playing field and keep those hackers at bay. So where do we start? That's the main question, right? So well, first, you need to know what are you protecting. That means creating an asset inventory. Things like, you know, think like a treasure map for your business. List out all critical stuff, hardware, software, data, even your key employees. Remember, you're a small business, mid-size. That actually is doable versus a large organization. But even for large organization, is good advice to understand who your key players are. Once you know what you have, you can prioritize and protect it accordingly. Next, it's time to play the what if situation. If threat modeling and risk management, assessments and so forth require for you as the security expert to play the what if, and that basically juggle your memory what needs to be done next. Imagine those hackers are brainstorming ways to attack you. What vulnerabilities might they exploit? How likely are those attacks and what's the potential damage? By answering these questions, you can focus your efforts where they'll have the biggest impact. Now comes the fun part, and that is just building your defenses. This is where the cyber defense matrix comes in handy. It provides sort of that blueprint for your cybersecurity defense. It organizes your thoughts in what comes first. You want to implement security controls like firewalls, access controls, and encryption. Things like this put your security into layers of protection, making it harder for those hackers to break through. But don't set it and forget it, though. Cybersecurity is an ongoing process. You need to continuously monitor your systems, update your policy, and conduct regular vulnerability assessments. It's like keeping the fortress in tip-top shape, ready to repel any attacks. And let's not forget the human factor. Your employees can be your best defense on your, and your weakest link for that matter. That's why security awareness training is so important. Teach them about phishing scam, strong passwords, and how to spot suspicious activity. It's like turning your employees into a cybersecurity army ready to defend your business. Now, I know you're thinking, all of this sounds great, but what about the bottom line? Well, guess what? Investing in risk management isn't just about protecting your business. It's about saving money in the long run. Think about the cost of a data breach, incident response, legal fees, lost customer. By preventing those breaches, you're actually saving yourself a ton of money. And that is very important when you're a small business. Plus, a strong cybersecurity posture can give you a competitive edge. Customers are increasingly concerned about their privacy, and they're more likely to trust businesses that, are t- that take actually security seriously. So think of risk management as an investment in your reputation and your future growth. Remember, SMBs, cybersecurity doesn't have to be overwhelming. By taking proactive risk-based approach, you can protect your business without breaking the bank. Just implementing those critical security controls on your most impactful assets, it's a start. Don't need to protect everything on day one, but having a long-term strategy will help you save money and have an impact on day one. So start implementing those strategies today. 
and slip a little bit easier knowing your business secure. Well, thank you and for tuning in one more time into the Doctor's Advice, the Cybersecurity Risk podcast. Be sure to subscribe for more expert discussion on the latest cybersecurity strategy and best practice. Until then.